What's the cringiest thing you've seen a bride and groom do for their wedding? Bride shows up almost two hours late to her own wedding. Southern California in an open field no water no shade. She shows up and wants to get married in her yoga outfit. The groom shut it down and when she refused to change her clothes the groom decided to leave her looking stupid and they never got married. Good call on the groom's part. I smell a fair. I was at a wedding when I was 8 and instead of the bride and groom getting up to make their speech thanking everyone, they had done like an awards show. So the DJ opened up an envelope, announced their names, they were handed an awards statue, a Barbie and Ken doll, and proceeded to thank everyone in the form of an awards speech. In the right hands, it would have been funny, but the bride and groom are incredibly shy by nature so it was just awkward. I'm in my 30s now and I still remember this. That sounds oddly cute, actually. But definitely cringeworthy. The groomsmen prepared a skit in which they lost the groom at the reception and proceeded with over the top hands on hips Hey guys aren't we forgetting something? Well, where can he possibly be? E -e? Acting like some high school musical. None of the guests were prepared and silently fussed around with their drinks and silverware. When the whole thing ended, they anticipated like a standing ovation but it went over the heads of everyone. A lone voice muttered that was kinda weird. As they made their exit quietly edit, I guess this blew up to the point I should try to remember some of the skit. It was some of the corniest shit I saw, not sure if some of them were inside jokes to the groom's men crew. They all entered into the main area together minus the groom one guy had the fakest cartoony voice hey aren't we missing something? It can't be me, because I'm all wise prepared. Winks and paws for laughs. What about your bow tie? Oh no, produces tie, puts it on, waits for audience reaction, no wait. It's the groom. We yeah, can he possibly be e? This went on for a bit, I don't remember it all because I was on my phone not really doing anything but to avoid eye contact every time they said a line and desperately scanned across the audience. In the end the groom came out through the door when he was cued, I don't think he knew about the skit, thank god he wasn't there to see it unfold. As for the crowd, who isn't gonna clap and whistle when the newlyweds show up at a wedding so it was all good. Why do I get the feeling that they made that up on the spot to stall for time after actually losing the groom? I love the comedic timing of that was kinda weird. As they're walking out because you know they were gonna hit the hallways like bro we fucking nailed it. Not the groom and bride's fault. But the pastor marrying them, talked about his marriage and his kids for 20 minutes. He was obviously going for something of showing what marriage will be like. But he full up was talking about how his daughter, Kelsey, learned to walk this way, and his other daughter's first words were this and that. And that he and his wife make love throughout the house because that's what you do when in love, etc. Bride and groom had to stand there holding hands for 20 minutes right in front of him as the other 150 of us had to listen about his sex life and his kids. Oh god, you just reminded me of an acquaintance I knew, didn't go to the wedding but heard from a mutual friend who was there, where the pastor marrying them told the couple to divorce their friends under the promise that it would make them a stronger couple or some shit like that. And they followed that advice. So pretty much after the wedding and reception, they just never again talked to any of the friends they had invited to celebrate their big moment. I thought they would be divorced within a year, but turns out that they're still together. But yeah, apparently married couples aren't allowed to have friends. Grimacing face, yikes. Invite all their Facebook friends and expect 700 people and like less than 100 show up. Buck I knew a couple who didn't specifically invite anyone, just made like a public event on FB or somehow assumed people would know when slash where it was and show up. They were confused and offended when almost nobody came. I think I went to this wedding. Right after the officiant asked if anyone objects to speak now or hold your peace did a dog start crazily barking? Yeah, they also gave many bottles of booze as table gifts and the mob took all of them. It was something else, smiley face. Oh I have two. 
the bride decided to sing as she walked down the aisle. She was not a particularly talented singer, and she was singing over a Carrie Underwood song so we could all hear the original vocal track. She finished walking about halfway through the song and then stood there and sang the rest of the song of the groom and all we could do was sit there and watch. Different wedding, they began the wedding with the groom playing an out of tune guitar and singing to the bride. They were sitting on chairs in front of everyone, legit 400 people, and the bride was clearly uncomfortable which made everyone else uncomfortable. That wedding also included a foot washing ceremony, and when the bride put her shoes back on she tripped on her dress and fell flat on her face. They hadn't done the vows yet and the ceremony stopped for 20 minutes to deal with the nosebleed she gave herself. I know a guy who recently made his lackeys, sorry friends, compete to be his best man. Most pretentious thing I have ever seen. Watching them grovel was so upsetting to me. I really hope when he told them all what he was doing he signed off by saying may the best man win. What does the best man get after winning though? Like does he get his portion of the wedding comp? Or does he get to call the strippers and plan the bachelor's night? Or does he get to make out with the very hot maid of honor? At the beginning of the reception, we all had to stand up and sing the national anthem. To be clear, this was in another country I'd never been to a wedding in before, so I thought okay maybe this is just a tradition I've never heard of before here. Then I told this to other people, and they were all like no, that's just really weird. Also, at that wedding the father of the groom ended his speech with what I'm sure he thought was an amazing joke, on how it's easier to build a bridge to Hawaii than to understand what a woman is thinking. It would have been awkward enough had the man not also been standing between his ex and current wife as he was delivering it. Also, at that wedding the father of the groom ended his speech with what I'm sure he thought was an amazing joke, on how it's easier to build a bridge to Hawaii than to understand what a woman is thinking was this that stupid genie joke. I went to a meeting at my workplace once where the very awkward dude leading the meeting made this joke in a conference with hundreds of women attending and it did not go well. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.